Welcome to this week's Forge tutorial. This week we'll be doing a marble run with household items. Marble runs are a great way to explore basic physics and physical science. This will be less of a tutorial and more of an inspiration for you to start getting creative with your own marble runs. There are two different types. For the first type of marble run, both really, you'll need scissors, tape, paper towels, toilet paper tubes, books, cardboard, marbles, or other balls, and really anything that strikes your fancy. We probably all have a few paper towel tubes or toilet paper tubes laying around, so they're great for using as tunnels or for steep drops, but you can also cut them into two shoots. This will obviously give you more track, making it possible to do a longer marble run. After you've cut your pieces of track, you can give them a quick test to make sure they work. I'm just holding it here, but later we'll explore angles and momentum using books and other things as risers. Toilet paper tubes work the same way, so use them as tunnels or cut them into track. Kids toys are also a great addition to your marble run, and I've made a little track here out of some connects. Books can be used as great risers, but they can also be turned into track themselves. Simply open the book and use the spine as a natural track. My kid suggested adding some Legos and Hot Wheel tracks, so we're going to test those out as well. And they seem to work great. Next, it's time to put all of these various elements together. You probably won't get this on your first try. As you can see here, it's going to take a few efforts before you get your angles right, before you get your pieces held down correctly to get a semblance of a marble run. But with a little persistence and patience, you can start building something quite fun. You could add dominoes or think about turning this into a Rube Goldberg machine or use it to practice your cinematic editing and filming skills. Even if the marble run doesn't turn out like you hoped every time. The key thing to remember here is that there will be a lot of trial and error. You will not get a perfect run your first time and that's okay. Part of the fun is exploring different varieties of the marble run. This marble run was just built on a flat surface, but here's another option. You can tape or pin pieces to the wall and create a totally different type and feel of marble run. This vertical style is a great way to explore potential and kinetic energy, momentum, even ricochets. But again, don't expect it to go right the first time. As you explore different mechanisms and elements of the marble run, you'll have to make constant micro adjustments and keep trying and trying again. Until finally, you get that ultimate, super satisfying Marvel Run success. Now have fun experimenting with and making your own Marvel Run. Thanks for watching. Have fun and keep making.